Today, we're diving into heat pump water heaters and sharing eight things you'll wanna know about these units before you install one. So, if you're thinking about making the switch from a traditional water heater to a heat pump water heater, stick around. We've got some important insights that are coming your way. Before we get into the details, let's talk about why we prefer heat pump water heaters over more traditional natural gas tank style versions, especially when we're talking about energy efficient homes. Atmospherically vented water heaters often have trouble venting properly when these other household systems like range hoods, air handlers, dryers, bath fans are all running and pulling the air out of the house and potentially even pulling air down the chimney, which is causing the water heater to backdraft into the living area. But heat pump water heaters eliminate this problem entirely. They don't rely on combustion, so there's no worry about the unit backdrafting or failing spillage testing because there is no exhaust. There's no combustion in these units, which makes these units a much safer and smarter choice, especially for tight, energy efficient homes. Because heat pump water heaters solve these problems, we've installed dozens of these. So in this video, what we want to do is try to share our experiences and highlight some of the challenges that we've experienced with the units. So let's discuss some of the things that you need to know about these units before you decide to install one and how they might differ from their traditional counterparts. As you may have heard, heat pump water heaters are generally far more expensive than traditional tank style natural gas water heaters are. However, if you stick around to the end of the video, we're going to discuss some of the tax credits, some of the rebates, and some of the incentives that can really help to bring down the cost of installing heat pump water heaters and make these units far more affordable. First, we want to discuss how energy efficient heat pump water heaters are. Heat pump water heaters use far less energy per unit of heat than their combustion counterparts do. Most traditional atmospheric tank water heaters have an energy factor of around 0.63, which means that nearly 40% of the energy used by the unit is just wasted. A tankless or electric resistance water heater might have an energy factor of 0.93, which we used to think was great, meaning only 7% of the energy was wasted. On the other hand, heat pump water heaters have an energy factor rating of three, of four, or even five, which means that they are exponentially more energy efficient than their combustion counterparts are. Heat pumps capture heat from the surrounding air and move that warmth into the water that's stored inside the tank. Because heat pumps are finding and transporting heat, just like an air conditioner or refrigerator does, they use far less energy to operate than their counterparts that create heat through the combustion process. A heat pump water heater not only heats your water, but will simultaneously dehumidify the surrounding air, which will help keep your basement dry and lower the chances of mold and mildew growth on the walls and the items that you might be storing down there. Like an air conditioner or a dehumidifier, heat pump water heaters will make some noise. Most people find it tolerable, but it's something to consider based on the home's layout and your family's sensitivity to noise. Just like an air conditioner, a heat pump water heater moves warm air from one place to another. In the case of your air conditioner, warm air is moved from inside your home to the outdoors. But in the case of your heat pump water heater, it takes the warm air surrounding the unit from your basement and it transfers that heat into the water that's stored in the tank, which means that the area surrounding the water heater can be marginally cooler since the heat pump is extracting heat from the surrounding air. Recovery time is the time it takes for the water heater to reheat a full tank of water. While the recovery time of an average size 220 volt 40 to 50 gallon heat pump water heater may be marginally longer than that of its traditional counterpart, because of their size, the larger sized heat pump water heaters like the 75 or 80 gallon can take longer to recover as can the smaller units, the smaller 40 to 50 gallon units that are operating on a 110 volt circuit. If you have a larger household or considerable hot water requirements, consider purchasing a slightly larger unit than the unit that this one is replacing 
so that can help ensure that you have a steady supply of hot water for your household. Upgrading your electrical system can also be an additional cost when installing a heat pump water heater. These units require 30 amp, 220 volt wiring to perform adequately for most households. This wiring probably does not exist near your current water heater's location, and you'll need an electrician to install it. Sometimes, unfortunately, owners of older homes may also need to upgrade their electrical panel to allow room for the additional circuitry. There are several versions of the 110 volt heat pump water heater on the market right now. Those just plug right into an ordinary outlet in your home. The problem is that the recovery time of these units can sometimes be considerably longer than that of the 220 volt counterparts. So you'll want to closely examine each of these units to determine if the 110 volt can keep up with your household's demands. If so, right, the convenience of plugging into a standard outlet that can really streamline the whole installation process. Heat pump water heaters can use far less energy than traditional units, and they can also help dehumidify damp basements. However, they can also be considerably taller than their traditional counterparts because the heat pump is commonly mounted right at the top of the unit. This may be a challenge for owners of older homes that have shallow basements with lower ceilings. There are versions where the condenser comes separately from the tank and it can be placed outside, but that type of system offers some additional flexibility, but installing it can be much more involved than a traditional unit. Finally, like your air conditioning system, heat pump water heaters need somewhere to drain the condensate. Often these units are installed with a condensate pump that will help carry the condensate to a nearby drain or other area where it can be discharged. If you're considering a heat pump water heater for your home, just ensure that your basement has the right height, that there's enough room on your electrical panel to add a 220 volt circuit if you don't have one already there, and that there's somewhere to drain the unit nearby. Also, consider the moderate noise and the temperature variations that might immediately surround the unit. And with these in place, the installation can be just as straightforward as a traditional unit. Heat pump water heaters require regular maintenance to keep them running smoothly, it's not terrible, just remove the filter from the top of the unit and rinse it off periodically. That helps ensure that the air can flow easily through it. Just drain the unit and flush it out periodically and check the owner's manual for additional recommendations. Outside of a few edge cases, we found these units to be reliable. In the isolated cases where we did experience some issues, we found that the manufacturers of the units jumped in, responsive, they were quick, they provided effective solutions. Heat pump water heaters are more complex and therefore, they're generally pricier. Thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, you can get a $2,000 tax credit towards purchasing and installing a heat pump water heater. Many of the state's utility companies have offered additional cashback incentives here in New Jersey and also in other parts of the country. In the Northeast, these units are also generally eligible for the incentives and financing that are available through Home Performance with Energy Star programs, which can be considerable. The initial investment of a heat pump water heater is higher than that of a traditional unit. Still, upfront incentives, tax credits, and incentive financing available through many of the state and federal utility incentive programs can significantly lower the cost of upgrading to this type of unit. The long-term energy savings can make this a very worthwhile investment for many, if not most homeowners, particularly those living in an energy efficient retrofitted home, those looking to decarbonize, and those households that are currently powering their homes right now using solar. So there you have it. These are the critical things to know about heat pump water heaters before going ahead and installing one. If you're interested in decarbonization or other forms of heat pumps for your home, check out our video on replacing a central air conditioning system with a heat pump system. You don't wanna miss that. We're also still collecting feedback on these heat pump units. So if you've installed a heat pump water heater or any other form of heat pump in your home, let us know what your experience has been in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more energy saving tips. If you know someone who might be a good candidate for a heat pump water heater, please pass this video along to them. If not, we wish you all the best, and we hope to see you on your upcoming SEAL Home Energy Audit. Thank you.